Happy Earth Day everybody. Today is April 22nd, 2013 and it is Earth Day. So I thought I'll make a quick video um, stating 10 different, 10 uh, unique facts about our Earth. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody is aware of these but I hope it uh, turns out to become useful for you guys. Um, April 22nd uh, being Earth Day, it's a time that we, you know, we can take a little bit of our uh, time off our busy schedule to appreciate our planet and the two-way relationship that we share with it. Uh, it is easy to take Earth for granted because we see it every day. Uh, it does become part and parcel of our life's background. But when you see the world through the eyes of science, nothing is mundane. Um, we live on the surface of this grand, with, with this great, giant, space-born, water-laden spinning rock. It is separated from the rest of the universe beneath a thin veil of nitrogen and oxy oxygen molecules. Even though you are immersed in its influence, what do you really know about Earth? Like, what have we done on a daily basis in the last day, last week, last month that we can make a positive effect on this Earth so that we leave a better world for the future generations to come? So here are some facts about our planet um, for you to ponder. Um, we have 23 hours, 56 seconds, uh, 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.091 seconds of it um, every day. Um, so number one, there are a lot of different ways to measure how long it takes for the Earth to go around the Sun. But if you were to say it takes pi, the number pi, uh, the constant pi, uh, multiplied by 10 million seconds, you'll only be about a half a person off. So that's again pi time by 10 million seconds. Uh, the Earth has a volume of about 1 trillion cubic kilometers. Uh, so can you kind of picture a cube with... Uh, 1,000 meters high, 1,000 meters deep, and 1,000 meters across. Uh, now picture a trillion of them. That's the Earth. Uh, the Earth has a mass of 6 sextillion uh, tons. That's 6 followed by 24 zeros. Um, in, in pounds, in terms of pounds, it's actually nothing, so it's zero. Um, I know it's kind of weird, but let me just explain it. Mass is a measure of how stuff, how much stuff an object contains. But Weight is how hard gravity pulls on that mass. The Earth is in space, so it's a free fall. It's in free fall, and it's in orbiting the Sun. So it has mass, but no weight. Number four, the Earth is in a perfect sphere. It spins, so it's kind of flattened at the poles a little bit. Uh, the diameter of the Earth through the poles is 7,882.4 miles, but it is 7,908.8 miles through the equator. Uh, that's a difference of about 43 kilometers, so that works to become a 0.3% difference. So we're really pretty close to uh, the planet Earth being a sphere. Uh, number five, uh, not only is it flattened um, at the poles, uh, the gravitational force of the sun and moon, which we call tides, uh, distorts its shape even more by pulling it and causing bulges on the surface. The Earth is kind of lumpy, and we don't really see it on a day-to-day -day basis uh, living in cities. But underneath the ocean, when an ocean is mapped, uh, you will really see that the Earth has bulges due to the sun and moon. Um, the bulge of the water due to the sun and moon's effect, which can have an amplitude of it. So it costs, causes the height to vary between a maximum and a minimum. Um, and that goes anywhere up to a meter. That's about 40 inches. Uh, the Earth deforms uh, due to the tides too, with an amplitude of roughly 50 centimeters. Um, even air affects its air is affected by tides, though there are several factors that are greatly uh, that greatly complicates it, like the expansion due to heating from the sun during the day and uh, simply said weather. Number six, uh, there is no physical place where the Earth's atmosphere stops and space begins. So pretty much the air gets thinner as we go up and eventually fades away. But since we all love definitions, um, the official height above which Earth's surface is considered to be where the space begins is called a Karman line. It's K-A-R-M-A-N line. Uh, it is at an altitude of 100 kilometers. So anybody of you guys who gets above that is considered an astronaut, which is kind of pretty cool. Um, number seven. Now we're going to compare the moon's radius to that of an Earth. The moon's radius is about a quarter that of the Earth's, making it the largest satellite compared to the parent planet. Uh, Charon, that is C-H-A-R-O-N, is Pluto's biggest moon, and it is about half the diameter of Pluto itself. So if you don't really consider Pluto a planet, <laughs> um, 
the Earth and the Moon still win. Number eight, um, Earth is farther away from the Moon is farther away from the Earth um, than what we think. I know we all can see it every day. Uh, there are even jokes about it that you can see the Moon, but not California from where you are. Uh, as an analogy, the Earth. If the Earth was a basketball, uh, the Moon would be the size of a tennis ball. 7.4 meters away that's 24 feet away so you keep the earth as a basketball uh, and the moon as a tennis ball you're looking at a um, distance of 24 feet apart if you t number nine if you take all the water on planet earth uh, i know we say earth is a water planet and if you take all the water on planet earth collected it into a single drop of water it would just be 1400 kilometers across that's all it is so that's um Number 10, the Earth is warming up. It's a fact and we gotta deal with it. Um, so today being Earth Day, let's all take about five minutes, if not five minutes, two minutes of your time, uh, or at least take take one action that you can do. Uh, try to implement it. Try to make a difference. Let's leave the Earth a better place. When we were born, the people ahead of us, like before us, the generations before us, left us with a beautiful Earth. Let's not destroy it, as we've already been doing it. Let's make a difference. Happy Earth Day, everybody. God bless everybody.